Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to a new series for Star Traders Frontiers. Yes, that's right, the last one just ended. And I am diving back in, despite my uh, <laughs> my voiced frustration at the end of the last series. Um, I will just say Xenos. Xenos, 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 Xenos. And I, I got pretty frustrated about how that ended. I thought to myself, oh, this is unfair. Or I said to myself, I, it felt unfair. And then after a little bit of incubation, I kind of thought about it. After some advice from other people, I kind of thought about it. And I said, you know what? I am not beholden to the Xeno. We are humans. We are superior. We are a superior species. Weaker in fighting, perhaps, but maybe not. We are a superior species. And I'm not going to bend my knee to these goddamn aliens. And so, we are going to start a new series. Very similar in structure. Very, very similar in structure to the last one. We are going to be a smuggler once again. Um, we are going to be doing kind of the same general idea of smuggling. We're going to, we're going to try and get rich. We're going to try and, and um, just manipulate the black market as much as possible. We just barely touched on it in the other series. There's a lot more, a lot more we can get into there. Um, but we're also going to do it with a real eye, a real focus, kind of, on how we can survive the Xeno when we inevitably encounter them. And along that track, we're going to be playing once again on Impossible Difficulty. It's been a long time since I've done Impossible, particularly because I've been doing combat-focused builds, and uh, it's damn near impossible, <laughs> I think, to actually do that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I haven't. I have yet to be able to get anywhere close uh, to surviving counters encounters efficiently on impossible. But anyways, since we're going to be going for a peaceful build, a criminal build, but a non-violent criminal, um, we're going to ratchet it back up to impossible. I've done this once before, well, a few times before, but I've done it successfully once before. As Pindian Pones, the Explorer, I've got a series of 60 episodes, but it's a little bit outdated. Um, the game has evolved quite significantly since then. That was in early access. And um, so I think we're going to give that another shot. But instead of being an explorer, which is kind of a, a, a jack of all trades, a man about town, Pindian, we're going to be really focusing on smuggling. Of course, this does push you into exploring a little bit because we are. Um, smuggler missions tend to have lots of exploring. Uh, necessary for them, but we'll see. We will see. So I've gone ahead and I've uh, I've made a new captain. We're gonna go and start. We got the, the the class smugs here. It's almost exactly the same, except I think I changed one of the contacts here. We once again have very high stealth and intimidate to facilitate our um, to facilitate the uh, ability to access the black market. We're gonna make that really just best as possible. We've got high attributes just for non-violent captain, charisma, and wisdom with some fortitude to allow us to uh, take some hits if necessary. We are uh, at a sea of smuggler just kind of because we don't need these other two things to be higher than they are pretty much. So it's perfectly fine. The Jura class is definitely suitable to what we need and we only really need these two to start off with. We'll have three contacts in the beginning because you do start with Caligan Fane a prince who does give you access to trade permits and introductions and um, besides that it's you know it's not too hard to uh, to spread your contacts and web out um, pretty much like as much as you need to like I, I don't know you want to kind of focus on a few at a time one at a time and so by the time you level up one guy, you're probably going to have met a couple of other ones. And then by the time you level up your reputation and influence with that guy, then you've met a couple of other ones. And this is what we're going to go with. So we are going to go in. We are going to be a lady this time. We're going to be Captain Smugsley. Smugsley. Here we go. Captain Smugsley. I know I'm a poet. <laughs> really a genius at naming things. We are, I, I've been, I've been torn. I've been torn about who to play as, right? I've done Devaltos in the last one. 
I've done Taloon, I've done Maki Muck, I've done Altamesa, I'm pretty sure I've done Steel Song, I've done Rykar, my very, very first. I think we're going to give Javat a try. My thinking here is that we've got very good economy on our mining, refinery, and industrial zones. You can go to these industrial zones, mining and refinery, you can buy the illegal goods there and then bring them bring them to black markets and sell them there. So we're going to give this a shot. Check before you dig. Very wise words. Known as Industrious House Clan, about focus on efficient mining operations, trade, and deep space operations. Control four quadrants, 38 landing zones. Yeah, okay, they're, they're across 32 systems. We are, um... We're not small. There are ones that are much bigger, like these guys, but there are also ones that are much smaller. Like, for example, uh, Steel Saw. One, 17 landing zones is, is so few. It's actually a rather large handicap, which I had not realized. Um, but anyways, we're going to start with Javat. Enough jibba-jabba. <sighs> we are going to go into Impossible. Right? 15% more risks, enemies, 30% more enemies. I think this means um, they are just more dangerous. Rewards, you get no benefit. We're doing it. Item Age to the end, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. Um, we're going to, once again, just like the last smuggler run, we're going to try and be like innocuous. Fairly innocuous, not innocuous. Nice little ponytail brunette. You know, not gonna go for the loud outfit. I think we did it with a pirate, maybe? I'm not so sure. We're just gonna go with something just kind of chill. I thought I had seen one that I liked. Yeah. I think I think this one. Just kinda chill. Kinda chill. We got belt, we got belt loops. Extra belt loose? Is it a holster? Mm, maybe. Well, anyways. We are, of course, going to manually assign talents. I don't know how necessary it is, but I like to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and launch the game. We are playing on the default map. I thought about doing a random one, but we're starting on Impossible again, and I'm a bit scared to do that. Um, so, we're going to skip any dialogue, pretty much, right off the bat. We're just going to ignore all of it. Um, one thing we're going to do right away, we are going to land here and we're going to, we're going to clean up our crew a little bit. So what are we going to do? We are going to fire all of our gunners. We do not need any gunners. We are never, ever going to shoot anything. If somebody's shooting at us, well, we've done, we've done messed up. We're going to strip our ship of weapons at some point once we can afford it. I think that's probably all the gunners that we have. Is it not? Indeed. We're also going to fire our quartermaster. Sorry, babe. You're out. We're also going to fire our engineer. Greedy bastard that you are. Now, why are we going to do that? Well, one of the ways in which I think that we need to be able to survive that first Xeno encounter, which always happens at around a certain level, a certain amount of time that passes, is getting a Hyperb Navigator up to level 11. And if they're a member of the crew, then they need to be level 15 to get the level 11 job. If they're a member of, if they're a member of the, uh, of the officer staff, all they need to do is be level 11. So we are going to be looking to boost one of them up to level 11. We're going to probably look and see like this guy. He's got bonus of tactics. He makes an excellent choice. Excellent choice because when it's in little brackets here that means that um, you only get that if you're an officer. Otherwise you don't. You can also take a look at you. You've got this. You're storytelling. You've got a bonus to repair. The evasion is not so useless. Eva repair is actually quite nice. You get a lot more repair checks than you do uh, evasion. So maybe we'll go with you. We might hire another one as well. You got a bonus to negotiate, which I do quite like. No traits that actually make a difference. And we did just look at you, right? 
and we might uh, we might hire another one. What we will probably do, I think we're gonna pick up another repair guy, right? Because our repair is gonna be rather low. So we don't have. We're gonna pick up another mechanic, and I do think we're gonna pick up another navigator as well. And I do think we're gonna pick up another pilot. I do, piloting skills, pilots are so, so useful. So this is another way that uh, we are going to avoid the Xeno. If we get into a fight, having pilot assist modules and all that stuff actually makes a huge difference. I did not realize that the total number, it's not like, yeah, okay, if, you get the bonus up until maxed out, right? Until you reach 200%. So we can be at 26 and we'll have this, the bonuses of a 26 pilot. If we have it at 50, if we raise this, because that's what pilot assist modules do, is they raise the cap, you can then be even higher. You can get up to 30, 40, in which case you're that much better at it. So this is definitely something to consider, something to look into. I don't think, I mean, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna need another crew dog. I don't want to be below the minimum, making it more dangerous. I think we're gonna start off with this. We do have room for two more crew, which is good because we're gonna wanna get smugglers, doctors, uh, merchants, all kinds of things. Our captain, we are going to boost you up. To that, you have only one talent. No, you've got two. Um, we are going to access it at one level higher. And we are going to replace a Rick's car with a Market X car. We're not going to be able to use this stuff for quite some time. I do realize that. But we're still going to go for it. We're still going to put the points into there. Our doctor, you are going to be a better doctor. You are also going to help us with the doctor's tests. All right, now we're into this. We got mechanics here. Passing a failed repair test. Yes, please. Um, crew dog, we want to pass uh, safety protocols. Passing a ship ops text. Text? Suppressing fire is just too good to not get. So we will start off with that for you. Navigator, we're going to get one with that. Uh, sorry, that makes... Um, I don't know, like, should I be describing all of this stuff? I, I'm never entirely sure. I will do it to a certain degree when I pick it, but uh, I do kind of expect, I guess, for you guys to have some kind of understanding of the game. And if you don't, you know, I, I'm not, this is not a tutorial series per se. I will explain some things, but I'm not going to get in too deep. But let's say the game is, is quite easy. If you don't know the game, watch a couple episodes, and I think you'll pick up on a lot. So just, I will, I will just say that. Um, this makes it when you do a hyper warp, you spend less fuel. It's really nice. Um, another guy, another gunner. This is a combat dude. He's a soldier. He's going to have also suppressing fire. Just a really good combat talent. Well, we'll get into what that means uh, in the future. This we will, of course, take a relaxing leave. Just getting a little bit, well, you got pretty good charisma. This just gives a little bit of a bonus to morale when you're in the spy hall. Basically, basically saves you time and money. Quite nice. Um, I'm gonna pick up fading shot with this guy, and I'm gonna have, probably have my swordsman and our pistolier, which is what he is. Also, combat uh, crew combat classes, kind of like shoot back and forth, boop 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 boop, shooting back and forth. Um, we would want a failed pilot's test to pass for sure. Blade attack here it is, slashing retreat. Right, we're gonna have them just come back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, for you, we do want one shore landfall, so we will pick that up. And we do want one basic maneuvers, just in case we do get into a fight. Actually, no. We're going to get another pilot test. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually pick up basic evasive maneuvers. This is, if you get into a fight as a ship, you get a little bit of more evasion. Really nice. Um, for you... We have no one with a navigation test pass, so we will pick that up as well. We have got no one with a tactics test pass, so you'll pick that up as well. We've got no one with an electronics test pass, which is here. We'll pick that up as well. Um, I do really like alert scanner from the beginning because you 
you know, it's it'll trigger everywhere. Whereas if you pick it up later on, then it's, you know, the places you've been to already, I think, don't count. And uh, learning rumors is quite nice. Quite nice. So we will pick that up. If you don't know what rumors are, well, well you'll figure them out. They, they are what they sound like. They're, they're things that are happening in the, in the galaxy that are good to know. Um, we will pick up a second ship ops because you get them quite often. I think I might want a second one. Now, Signature Jammer, this, if you end in a draw, sometimes you lose reputation if somebody is not friendly. This helps mitigate that. Always worth having. Um, we've got that. We don't care so much. I think we're gonna need a second electronics test passing. Seems good to me. Uh, we've got the passing of repair test. I think we're gonna reduce the cost of ship repair. Saves quite a bit of money over the course of the game. Um, we've got another navigator here. I will get one fast getaway, just in case. You wanna be able to run. Um, another one of you guys, we've got one of those, two of those, feel safe protocols, it's not super great. Maybe a second relaxing leave, what's your charisma? Very good, okay, okay, and that's it, we have actually gone and leveled everybody up. Now, we want to make these guys an officer, right? But it costs a lot of money. We're not going to do it. Um, that being said, no, this is a scavenger. We want to be able to get... The scavengers are nice. We actually can't do it because we it costs a lot of money. We want to get the smuggler as soon as possible. Um, this guy is a contact that uh, we start with. Very, very good. I really like the salvage brokers. Access to the black market. They can sell inter records for them. Discounted upgrades is actually quite nice. You can recruit scavengers or merchants here, which is really, really freaking lucky because there's no guarantee that you're going to get a merchant. And this is going to be our second officer, I think. I think this is going to be our second officer because merchants are also really freaking good. Uh, we obviously can't do it right now because we don't have the money, but it's really fortunate. We only have that because of uh, he is a negotiator. He's a bit of a pain in the ass, but he gives merchants. So, wonderful. Um, we're not going to be able to do anything right now because we need our money. As I said, to boost up our other guy uh, to an officer, we do need money. But they had experience at the same rate, so it's perfectly fine. And without further ado, we've had quite a bit of ado. Um, we can reach all the way there. It's quite far. We are going to go and do this first mission. This is a mission that you just kind of start with. And uh, it's an easy way to just get 10,000 right off the bat. It also just brings you kind of to where you would end up going anyways, sort of. Passing two failed command tests. That is one downside, I think, to not having the quartermaster, is that our command skill is going to be a bit crap. And actually, command is quite good. We're just going to take a look and see if there's anything worth getting here. No, probably not. These are little mini games that you do um, on each planet. It's available, always worth checking. Always, always worth checking. Like this is worth checking. I would love to get these Intel records. Damage to the crew is money and time. Hmm. Unexpected ship is not great. But if I can get one of these Intel records, then I'm very happy. We got six. You can use these to basically, yeah, this we're not gonna do. <laughs> to death among crew, no thanks. You can use those Uh, skip this. No, no. Um, I come aboard. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want you not to come. Right, I got it. Excellent. We will need to uh, refuel here. We will need to re repair. Save a little bit of money. Thirteen percent discount. Um, I what I was saying. There's an orbital thing over CERN Prime. So here's our rumors. One of the things we learned is that there is a salvage uh, possibility in CERN Prime, but it's six jumps away. It's not, uh, it's not worth it. It's quite far away. Derelict Space Hive. Scavengers and Pirates. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to go there. Um, instead, yeah, we're not interested in you at all. But I think I was saying it just, it's, you just get 10,000, 10,000 cred. 
Right off the bat, cred, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. Um, one thing, right? We're, we're going to want to get into trading. However, you always start off with a trade ban. They kind of force you. I, I, I like, I kind of like the design decision there. They force you to pick a side. They force you to pick a side. Um, and by buying and selling from our own faction in the beginning, we will take negative rep with Kadar, kind of make giving you an enemy right away. We're not interested in that. We don't want to get messed with by, by the Kadar. So we're going to probably avoid trading with our own self for some time. Now this world is a refinery. That would be great, but we could, no, we should just go. We, we can't really afford to buy and sell stuff just yet. We have no money, no capital to buy. So we're just gonna navigate all the way over there. And then at some point, failing repair test, repair test, command test, ouch. Yeah, you do fail a lot of tests in the beginning. It's true. We are understaffed by 11 gunnery. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Two officers cabin available. We have made it all the way, just barely. We are going to go ahead and land. We're going to roll out the red carpet. Doesn't matter what we say here. We're not going to do the missions, the story stuff for these guys. I've done only once. I ended up dying, I think. But there we go. We made uh, we made some nice money, which is great. We're going to have to, of course, repair, refueling, healing, pay our wages. And then we are going to level up. One of our navigators. We're gonna find the one. It was not you. Courtney? No. Sanders? No. Dora? No. Darren? I swore there was a... There was a better one. I swore there was one that caught my eye. We don't know what your stats are like. Oh no, it wasn't their traits, it was this. We keep failing command. Tactics is not... Right? Or tactics... There are... Is there a command skill? I forget now, I'm actually... There is command. We have, we have no command. Not great. Not ideal. Um, we are going to find the navigator with tactics, I think. I think we want the tactics over the negotiate. Congratulations, sir. You've been promoted. So we can now level you up. We're gonna train you at the Hyperwarp Navigator. You're level two. We did lose something, right? Um, no members know this, did I? Did I not? I swore I had uh, two two that knew it. Perhaps not. Well, anyways, so now we can decide. We can pay a little bit of crew. Now we get to decide, right? I'm also going to clean out my filter for just leveling. We decide. Where do we want to kind of start off? Now, Callaghan Fane can give us access to trade permits very early on. And getting up to free trader and full trader as soon as possible is very nice same time, picking up a smuggler immediately, picking up a merchant, I think is probably what we want to do first, because then they'll start getting that experience as soon as possible. The merchant in particular, because we're going to make him an officer. He will eventually also have smuggler job, but for now, I think, I think we're going to go after that merchant. So. Who gives me you, you salvage missions, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but you're also nearby. You're kind of nearby. You can do a little bit of trading over here as well. This refinery to population, refinery to industrial to population, seems like a good thing to do. We, we do need some cash early off, 
So let's go and make a little bit of money on our way through, on our way to picking up our last officer. We'll be a merchant smuggler. Merchants do get a little bit of command, which is nice. Um, how's the fuel? Fuel is very cheap. We need to repair. And let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Something that they want on industrial, it's you. We can spend, we can fill up our cargo hold. This is the most expensive item that we can get. Makes sense to do it. We're going to make small amounts of money. I really, I should have checked this because some of the other people also have trade wars, don't they? Taloon and Kadar, yeah. That is Kadar, isn't it? Okay, well, we can just go and sell to Loon here. And not, okay, what are you? We've encountered a bounty hunter. You should, you should leave me alone. Independent, so we got nothing to lose if we retreat. We can just back off. This is a refinery. Do you want this on refineries? No. You will have things that are wanted on refineries. Industrial to refinery, back and forth, I think is a thing that can work. We'll check it out. I mean, making money is what we want, right? But also experience, of course. But money to be able to kind of survive all of these failing of the tests that happened in the beginning is very important. So, right, we made 3,000. Just paid for our, our level up a little bit, or kind of just pay, pay for flying around is often what it feels like. So anything that you want on Refinery Worlds, huh? Yeah, clothing. I, I think we're going to do this right away. We're going to go back and forth because it does take some time for them to uh, stabilize, right? Supply and demand is the thing in the game. A pirate, really? Well, we have to surrender to him because... <sighs> That's really crappy. We have no choice. We, we're not going to get involved in a fight there. So we just kind of lost all of the profits from our initial trade. We will pick something up here, I think, to be able to sell back at... Um... Oh, I should also be checking this stuff. Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, hostile pirate ship. No. Let's go ahead and land. Check the price on fuel, it is good. Heal, repair, spice leaf, wages, spice leaf. There's a lot of money. Anything that they want on industrial. Yes, polymer ingots. Okay, well, this is definitely the most expensive thing again that we can buy and sell here. So we're gonna spend all of our money and really, oh, I could have gone here. I'm a jackass. We flew a bit too far there. Carrying a merchant. You, we can demand some tribute from. And then we can retreat. We shouldn't lose any money, but we, we got a little bit of money. And at this point, those, those small amounts, your tense. Those small amounts of money make a huge difference in the beginning of like really getting your feet underneath you. So we will, we will check this. We fa we forgot to do it last time. Death Among Crew, no thank you. This is also not good. This is also not good. Lots of hostility, powerful unexpected ship. We'll pass. Make up a little bit more money. Again, have to kind of refuel, repair everything, all that. Spending a fair amount of money on this stuff. Back up to 7,608. And uh, let's go now. Actually, I think we're going to end the episode here. I've gone possibly a little bit longer um, than I intend to keep these episodes, usually around 22 or 23 minutes. But it's the first one. There's a lot of talking to do, a lot of setup to do. So we are going to, as I said, end the episode here. I'm going to repeat myself only those two times, I hope. And um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited. I, I really like I had this focus, like I want the I will not be beaten by the Xeno. I will not let them break my spirit. There is ways to get around it. I'm going to name this series uh something 
to that end. You'll you'll know it. You'll know it. I don't know it yet. Actually, I do know it. But uh, okay, maybe not. I'm still working on it. But you'll know it. I'm. I think it's gonna be a fun name, a clever name, perhaps better than Captain Smugsley, maybe. Ah, actually, I love that name. What am I talking about? Um, but yeah. You know, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, I am doing something very similar to the last series, which I was a bit torn about. Let me know what you think about that. If you think I should be branching out and doing other kinds of playthroughs, if you want me to do what on normal, hard, more achievement runs, I will be playing more, um, <laughs> more Star Traders even after this series ends, because I really love this game, and I know you guys love it too. So. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this direction for future things. If you want to see other stuff, if you're happy I'm doing about this. If you're also frustrated by Xeno, if you have tips on how to deal with Xeno. I know some stuff. Always looking for more. Um, and uh, if you want to see some really tense, probably terrifying, probably painful at times, impossible gameplay, stick around for this series. I do always, of course, appreciate likes. Really lets me know that um you know you guys well like what i'm doing here um as well as subscriptions that's really the biggest thing for me and really kind of helps push me forward because it's a, a real way of seeing the channel grow um over time it warms my heart to know that that you know you guys care it does it really does so that's uh that's it for this first episode stick around we're gonna have new episodes every day for this series and um, you know, also lots of other uh, lots of other games on the channel. So check that out if you're new here. And um, that's gonna be it for this episode. I feel like I said I wasn't gonna repeat myself, but I have. We're just gonna have to live with that. Until next time. My name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.